Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Kyran versus Hectorology, and this is going to be another Throwback Thursday video. This is a series where I go ahead and do some throwback formats. This format is 2014 NAWCQ format, so this is half format, and let's hop right into it. Also, this is the last day for the DB Grinder merch, so if you want to check that out, it's down below in the description. Also, they've tied four times now. We're going to see Kyron win the rock, paper, scissors, shoot, so they can decide if they want to go first or second. Looking at deck counts, we got 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it, and they're going to go first. Opening hands, we have Maxi, Mind Control, D Prison, Girgiano, Mark II, and Arsenal. Uh, this format, it wasn't until after the NAWCQ that you would only draw five going first. So this format, you still draw six going first. There can only be one field spell up, so if your opponent has a field spell up and you activate one, theirs gets sent to the graveyard. A little bit different rulings than they are now. And then they have Solar Recharge, Late Ray Diablo, Solar Recharge, Blaster, and Judgment Dragons. So they are on the Dragon really Light Sworn deck, and they are on Gyrgia. So they're going to normal summon out Arsenal. Arsenal effect, set armor. Armor effect set itself, set D prison, pass, draw Lumina. So that that's a good draw, because now they have a solar recharge discard. They're gonna discard, draw needle bug nest and soul charge. Oh, it's not bad. They're gonna mill right in Necrogardena. And then activate soul charge, chain maxi. They should have asked for uh, targets first, but they're gonna go ahead and summon out all three. Uh, they do only get one draw though, because it's only one summon. And then they take 3,000, activate the effect of mill here, so mill 2, we're going to mill solar, or not solar, uh, eclipse wyvern, wyvern effect to banish, it's really good to mill these cards, because uh, you mill these, you mill the uh, the dragon rulers, and then you get, like dragon rulers to banish, to summon, go grab, and this deck, once it gets like rolling, like and it's actually like popped off, it's really hard to actually beat it. Then they're gonna set needle bug, end phase mill three. Um, okay, so they're milling two off Raiden first, and then they're gonna mill three. But mill two hit Wyvern, and then banish. Also, they do hit Necrogard now. The mill two is kind of crazy there, and then Lumina to mill three, and they hit Wolf. Wolf is a mandatory summon, uh, so they do have to summon it out here. You wouldn't want to just to like play around Maxi, I guess. Uh, by the way, they have all the little gear Gianos. And then draw Cell Raider. So they're going to go main phase, flip armor, armor effect, go grab a Cell Raider. And then special summon, special summon, overlay, go for Exceton Knight. And they do have, uh, they have 5, 9, they have 3, 8. Okay, so they have 9 and they have 8. This card requires you to have less cards than your opponent to activate it. Then they're going to activate. Also, now they can't do damage this turn. They're going to activate Needle Bug Nest. Um, the opponent could have played around this just by simply activating Needle Bug Nest before they overlaid. Because then they would have had 8. And they would have had 8. I guess they just weren't prepared for it. Uh, it's definitely something that you don't think about as much in, like, in 2021 as you would in 2014. Just because like, if you're used to playing current format, you see him put the level 4s on board, you're probably not thinking as much to play around like Exceton Knight. Uh, even when I played 2014 format a couple months ago, I found myself, I completely forgot about this card for a second. Uh, so I'm not going to like get on him for it. Ooh, so they do mill Tempest and Necrogardena and the Light Sworn. Okay, so now they do have... Four Light Sworn names in Graveyard. And they have Eclipse Wyverns. They have a Dragon Ruler. They're definitely surviving. Like, they can't take damage anyhow. And then, like, it, it is a really good spot for them. This is a really good spot for them. Those get popped too because of the Asecton Knight. Pops the whole field. I remember this card versus Yang Zing was like the FTK. Because this card is a quick effect. 
So you'd go ahead and Necroz, you'd be like, activate Unicorn, discard to try to add back, response, no, okay, chain accept on night effect, blow up the field, add back, none of your Yang Zing summons because they're win effects. The card was absurd. Normal summon effect, and then you're going to summon armor, armor to set itself, pass, draw foolish burial, and then special summon out the judgment dragon effect, you just see him admit defeat here. Yeah... So, going on to the next game, we are going to see the Giria deck go first, opening hands. We have Arsenal, Defizzer, Arsenal, Accelerator, and Trap Tricks. Obviously, Defizzer is absurd against the Light Sworn deck. And then they have Soul Charge, Lila, so they do have an out. Eclipse, Honest, and Royal Decree. And then, drop Breakthrough Skill... Normal summon out arsenal and then effect tribute set armor. Well, summon it effect set activate set set pass turn draw MST. Oh, that's nice because now they can actually out this, otherwise, Lila would be able to break through skill. Activate MST on the D fissure, and then normal summon out Lila effect targeting the breakthrough skill, and then uh. It, I don't remember, honestly. Did it change at the end of 2013? Or was it 2014 did it change? I know at some point in time that... Because uh, I'm pretty sure the text on Breakthrough Skill used to be different, right? Are you saying like until the end phase? Or maybe, maybe I'm thinking about Valor. I'm not sure. Um... Yeah, I, I forget, honestly. I know that, like, in 2013, if you were, like, if you hit, if you used Valor and you targeted, like, Justice of Prophecy, they could still, like, end phase activate Justice effect. But I I think this has the same wording then that it does now, so they should have chained it so that way its effects were negated until the end of the turn. Pretty sure it's the same. Uh, they're going to end phase Lila Mill. Uh, the mills were not very great there, but at least they get something in graveyard. Better than hitting nothing. Pass, draw mark two. They've been drawing a lot of monsters. Flip armor, armor effect. Go grab a cell raider. And then normal summon out mark two. Mark two, bring out arsenal. Special summon out cell raider. And then activate arsenal effect, tribute, it's going to summon armor from deck, special summon out accelerator, and then overlay for gear giant X, and then gear giant X effect, detach, go grab cycle reader, okay, that, ah. yeah, there, there, were, there were people in 2014, they would side deck one cycle reader in their deck, so that way they can go ahead and detach and search it, kind of like, uh, oh, there, there's multiple formats where we've kind of seen this. Especially like ABC, like the mirror match, they would side deck three cycle readers because of how crazy this card is against ABC. But they could go ahead and search it too. And then battle phase attack, and then poke, poke. But it's definitely like worth having the one spot in your uh, in your side deck to have like a searchable way to hurt Light Sworn. You're gonna activate the armor effects, set themselves, flip row, decree, and end phase here, pass, draw eclipse. So, in this scenario, you could go ahead and Soul Charge to summon back the Lumina. Uh, then you could, well, if you Soul Charge for Lumina Lila, right, you target those, there's a Cycle Reader. So, they're going to go ahead and chain, because this card doesn't actually uh, have to summon back to make you not be able to go to your battle phase. So if you go ahead and target these, they're going to cycle reader them. You still can't go to battle phase. And then they're going to gear giant X effect to add back. So this can also add back from the graveyard. So yeah, there's no way they soul charge here. Normal summon, attack the mark two. And then pass, draw Giriano. Wow, they've been drawing so many gear gear names. Flip armor, effect, go grab accelerator. Flip armor, effect, go grab mark two. And then activate gear giant X effect. So they play multiple cycle reader. Okay, now I feel like that's weird because a lot of people would only play one. 
you really uh this format there was a lot of different decks you could play against you know there was light sworn there was infernity sylvan mirror match hat fat like the the, the Madal Shay, like the decks go on forever. There were so many different decks you could play against in this format. Like your giant X go ahead and attack. They're gonna drop Honest. And then they could get the effect of summon back out the Mark II if they want to here. Uh, they choose not to. Yeah, when it leaves, you can target summon back. Uh, chooses not to there. And then overlay for Abyss Dweller. Pass turn, by the way. Not not even going to go armor effects to set themselves. Uh, you know, personally, I like setting my armors just because I get searches off of them. They just they had to have just forgotten there. There's no way they didn't. Like, there's no way you don't go for it. They draw Raiden. Then they're going to normal summon out Eclipse. Chooses to not normal summon out Raiden. Uh, I don't know. Raiden gets you mills there. I feel like Millen's pretty good. But they're going to go ahead and attack over the armors. And then overlay for Lava Vol Chain. Effect. Detach. And then they're going to Chain Dweller. They should have also asked. Yeah, they should have asked like what effect they're using. They're going to stack the Lumina there. I mean, either way you're going to use it to stop the Eclipse Wyvern effect. And then pass. Draw Trap Tricks. Trap Hole Nightmare. And then normal summon out the Mark II. Mark II effect, they show, they show the uh, soul charge and they admit defeat. So now going into game three, we are going to see the Light Swarm player be going first. Opening hands, we have Chalice. Chalice. This card was not really played back then, I don't think. Uh, which is like completely okay. Like, you know, it's been seven years since this time. So like stuff's gonna change. Like we've gotten a lot better since seven years ago. Just like goat format. If you go back and look at goat, um, back in like 2000, I think 2005 when it actually happened, the lists were horrible compared to the topping list nowadays. Um, like for goat format. And Cycle Reader, Maxi, Arsenal, Breakthrough Scope. Wow, so they really opened up one engine card plus four defensive cards. It's insane. It's like Ray plus four hand traps. And then they have Lumina, Judgment, Dragon, Royal Decree, Trap Stun, Blaster, and a Soul Charge. Okay, so... Yeah, this has been very good. They're going to have to normal summon out Lumina. Just to get the mills. Uh, oh, the mills weren't really that great either. They do hit Eclipse though, which is uh, something. They're going to go Banish, and then they're going to Cycle Reader to hit those. Okay, Eclipse Effect to add back. I mean, it does get rid of dragons, I guess. Um, I, I guess. Draw Soul Charge. The Soul Charge Arsenal combo is kind of crazy. You could go first if you open both of these. You can just, like, normal summon Arsenal, effect, summon armor, Soul Charge, bring out Arsenal, effect, set armor, and then you have, like, double armor turn one. It doesn't it doesn't seem that crazy like nowadays but like back then like double armor was like so insane for a deck that like was like it wasn't like slow but you know it just like having double armor is insane just like drawing they didn't even draw the gear gear trap this game to put a youtube link <laughs> activate arsenal that's going to tribute summon out armor Activate Soul Charge, so they decided to not attack this turn. I uh, you know they could have attacked with this, but they didn't want to play in the Honest, I'm guessing. And then Arsenal, Tribute, Summon out the Armor. And then Armor Effect Set. And then Armor Effect Set. And then Set Chalice, Set Breakthrough Skills. So we see that they're not on like any Karkari stuff. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can use Cycle Reader plus an armor to go into Karkari things. Uh, pretty sure they just take machines, so, yeah. A lot of people weren't playing the, um, the Karkari stuff, though. That stuff was more just, like, fun stuff. It wasn't actually, like, good stuff. Uh, draw Lumina. And then Normal Summon Lumina. And then End Phase Lumina Mill 3. Wolf Effect. Chain Maxi. So just trying to get a 1 for 1 there. Draws Armor. So many gear gear draws this player has been having. Mill three off the other one, they hit Necrogarden up. And then pass, draw mark two. Like the draws just show them themselves. Uh 
And I'll flip armor, go search, flip the arm, other armor, go search. And then special summon out both the Saw Raiders that they searched. Overlay. <laughs> the opponent's just admitting defeat here. Yeah, they know what's coming. Effect, go search Cycle Reader. Yeah, there's a... Uh, it's not too much you can do against Cycle Reader, really. Like, their draws weren't really good enough to, uh... Like, play turn one, fuel the graveyard, and then turn two OTK. They really, uh... I mean, they just started with a normal summon Lumina, you know? They couldn't start with, like, a charge there, and then soul charge... Well, there's solar recharge and then soul charge. Like, uh, this card, this card is crazy. I'm so happy that this card is banned. Like, I hated this card so much. The amount of times that people would top deck this card and just win because of it was stupid. You would literally be winning and then they would draw and be like, oh, sorry, activate soul charge for four. And you're like, oh, well, all right, good game. <laughs> like, you just set up full combo off of one card. Or, like, turn one, they would have, like, a decent end board, and you're like, okay, okay, I could probably end up winning this game. And then they soul charge and put, like, an extra fell grand on field or something for no reason. Or, like, this deck, they just soul charge to get more light sworn names on board, so that way they can mill more and fuel the graveyard quicker. Really, all this deck wants to do turn one is just fuel the graveyard as much as possible, which is why they're also playing stuff like Curry Bandit. Um, they're playing Needlebug Nest. They're also playing Allure in this list. A lot of people didn't play that card. I played I played both of these decks back in 2014, actually. Um, I played Lightsworn, Girgia, and Sylvan. Those were, like, my main decks. Uh, I played Infernity at, like, the very end of the format. But then, uh... I don't even, it didn't, it, the deck didn't even get hit, right? I'm pretty sure just Winda came out, and people just stopped playing Infernity because it was impossible to beat Winda. You were act, you were trying to get to, like, your uh, your Archfiend field spell, so that way you could attack over, but then, like, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just remember the Duelist Alliance set really made all of these decks look horrible because Satellar so Knight came out, Shadal came out, BA came out. BA was... Nobody respected that deck. Everybody respected the Shadal and Satellar Knight. And then, like, two weeks later, everyone was like, oh, this is actually just a BA Shadal format. Satellar Knight is horrible. Yeah, I don't know. Satellar Knight was not that crazy of a deck. Especially, like, without Triver. And then, like, by the time Triver came out, like, the deck just didn't have good matchups, like, at all. I remember 2015 Nats, people were trying to play Satellar Knight, and that deck just had zero good matchups like that deck just wasn't the deck to play but seeing how long the uh, match was it was only a 23 minute long match you know we don't see any ggs coming from them to be fair they, they didn't really speak the entire game kind of feel like they were in discord i mean they were giving each other thumbs ups but uh i guess we'll i guess we'll never really know but yeah, that was that was a, was a cool matchup. I like the format. You know, a lot of people like hat format. There's a lot of people that think hat format was the best format ever, which I don't really think so. I don't, I don't know. It wasn't a bad format though. Like 2014 was like hat format. Ooh, definitely a good format. Uh, but yeah, personally, I think like Sylvan and Infinity were the best decks. Sylvan was so fun to play. Gosh, I loved that deck so much. I picked up that deck the very... I picked up two of the decks. Two Sylvan decks. The first day it came out from the... Uh, I don't remember the set's name. It was like LVAL or something like that. And the deck was super cheap. And then support got revealed. And all the cards like times like 10 in price. It was absurd. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. Sylvan was really cool. Plants were cool. Uh, the Infernity deck was definitely fun to play. You know, if you comboed, you won. Uh, Soul Charge was like an FTK in those two decks. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Again, the merch goes down tomorrow, so you can go ahead and check out in the description if you want to get any. The DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.